Hi, welcome to Briones Pickleball. My name is Jordan Briones, and in today's video, we're going to talk about three simple steps to master the third shot drop. Now, let's jump right in. All right, so in this video, we are going to talk about how you can master the third shot drop. This is a very difficult shot, especially if you are a beginner player or you're just starting out. But I think with these three progressions, you can build on it and get better and eventually master this shot. This first progression that we're gonna go through is called the two and one drill. Now, if you haven't heard it before, the third shot drop is very similar to a dink in technique and also how you execute it, it is very, very similar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start up at the non-volley zone line and I'm going to just take simple dinks. Right now I'm not hitting with top spin or underspin. All I'm doing is lifting up on the ball. So I'm gonna start up here. I'm gonna hit two shots here and then I'm gonna take a little step back and then I'm gonna hit two more shots from my new position. Notice after every two shots, I'm getting further from the net and my target, which is around that non-volley zone on that other side, is getting further. So the things that I'm going to be adjusting as I get further from the net is my follow through and maybe slightly my backswing. But remember, I'm lifting with my legs and also using my shoulder, I'm not using my wrist, and I am controlling the ball from there. Here we go. One, two, little tiny step back. One, two, okay, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Two, one, two, one, a little high, two. Oh, okay. So for those of you out there um, already in the comments, I can already see them saying, oh, these are very, very easy balls that she's feeding to me. This is the way how you develop good technique and that you work on this consistency. On the second and third progression that we're gonna go over in this video, you're gonna see it in real gameplay on how we practice it, but this is the first progression. Hi, if you're really enjoying this content, go ahead and please give this video a like, and if you're not subscribed, we'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Now, let's get right back to the video. All right, so now let's jump into progression number two. This is definitely a more difficult one, and this is a little bit more realistic. One person is gonna start at the non-volley zone and I am going to be here at the baseline or behind the baseline. Okay, she's gonna feed me a ball uh, and whatever side it goes to, my forehand or my backhand, you will see me practice my third shot drop. Remember, my main goal is to force the opponent there at the non-volley zone to have a low contact point. And what I'm going for here is margin over the net. Okay, I'm not going to hit perfect drops every single time. Sometimes they will go into the net. Unfortunately, sometimes they will go a little high. I rather my third shot drops go a little bit high so that I can continue to stay in the point. So she's gonna feed it. I'm gonna work on my footwork um, and I'm well behind the line here. I'm going to make sure I'm stepping in into my third shot drop so that I have my momentum moving forward. Um, we're just gonna go as long as I can and we'll see how that goes. Okay, here we go. So I hit a couple good ones there and also a couple ones that were a little bit higher and deeper. Um, even if she's volleying the balls as a swinging volley out of the air doesn't necessarily mean my drops are bad, okay? If you watch the pros and watch high level players hit their third shot drops, the drops are landing again near that non-volley zone line forcing a low ball. So all I'm concerned about is staying in the point hitting that drop nice with good arc over the net and descending down to the feet. So we're gonna see it a couple more times here. Play it. 
All right, so remember, you can go out there with a partner and just do this second progression. Remember, that person at the non-volley zone is keeping the balls deep, and the person here at the baseline is trying to drop and hit descending balls down to the feet. Now, the person at the net, they could make it as difficult as possible, so they could maybe roll it more, put more pace, and I would really adjust it based on skill level. If you're struggling with your drops, the person at the net could hit you maybe easier balls, and if you're a more advanced player, they could hit you more difficult ones. All right, so now let's jump into progression number three, and this is gonna be with the serve, and the return's gonna come back, and I'm going to attempt my third shot drop, and then we're gonna play the point out. Now, these are for all you who say, well, I'm practicing the third shot drop, but when I get into the game, I end up missing it because the return has a lot of spin, a lot of pace, whatever. Remember, the first two progressions, we need to be practicing over and over so we can get our footwork and technique down, and then we can utilize it in a real game scenario. So we are just going to be playing half of the court. This is half court singles or skinny singles, as some players call it. I'm going to serve and she's gonna hit a nice deep return. And then I'm going to be attempting my third shot drop. Okay. All right, so that was just a really good example of a third shot drop that was a little high. Notice what I did. I did not come in, right? I wanna leave margin over the net. I hit that first third shot and it was high. If I came in on that, she could slam that or push it right to my feet. So I was patient and this is going to happen in a real game. And this is why you need to practice these kinds of drills. I served it, the return came back. I hit a lifted third shot that was gonna go deep. I held my position. Then I hit a fifth shot, which is really another drop. And then I chose to come in. So let's show you a couple more times. Here we go. Good, good ball. All right, so that one, that drop was a little bit high, right? And I chose to come in and she actually placed in a really good spot at my feet. This is why number one, it's important to make good decisions on your approach to that non-volley zone. If it's a little high and you think that they can put a lot of pace on that ball, maybe you stay back. And if it's good, we come in and we gotta make sure we come into a good split step and stop and we try to control that next ball as a reset and then go from there. All right, so just one thing to note, every single return is gonna be completely different. It may have topspin, it may have underspin, some sidespin. We have to learn how to react to those balls, get our feet in good position, and then hit the ball with our momentum moving forward. This takes a lot of practice. Remember, go through all of these three progressions and get out there and practice with a friend or partner. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hopefully you can go out there with a partner or friend and work on these three progressions and master that third shot drop. We'll see you in the next one. For exclusive pickleball content from me, check out briannaspickleball.com. For awesome pickleball paddles like this one, make sure to check the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Stands this side away.